Right now at 6, a Supreme Court attack ad makes claims about a victim of rape, but that victim told a Wisconsin newspaper those claims aren't accurate, and the ad is leading her to rel relive trauma. And an Arcadia student is breaking barriers. We meet a young engineering extraordinaire who hopes to inspire more girls to study science and tech. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. We will get to those stories in just a bit, but first, it is a very active weather day, so we will send it immediately to our chief meteorologist, Bill Grawl. Yeah, I got a couple of warnings still in play, uh, kind of marginally severe, uh, quarter size hail. That is kind of the low end threshold of uh, a severe criteria for hail. Uh, first things first, tornado watch until 8 o'clock this evening, Winnesheek, Alamakee, Crawford, and Richland counties. Uh, those areas have the greatest threat uh, of severe weather, but we had a pretty good downpour here in La Crosse uh, moments ago as that storm lifted uh, right north across the region. And look at all of the uh, storms lighting up the radar, all the lightning strikes as well. So uh, we're pretty much all going to see scattered showers and thunderstorms. And again, every now and then a couple of these kind of pulse stronger uh, or too severe. You can already see that that uh, storm is up near Holman now, so it's outrun the warning that just expired uh, as of uh, a couple seconds ago. And then out to the east, uh, northern parts of Adams County, pretty good hail are there. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning for about another 15 minutes for uh, northern parts of Adams County. Most of these storms are producing heavy rain, some smaller hail, uh, again, lightning as well, so keep that in mind. 30s to the north, 50s down to the south, and believe it or not, they had temperatures in the 70s over southern Iowa. So that's why we're seeing the severe weather with the clash of winter to the north and spring to the south. Scattered showers and storms this evening, and then it becomes a wintry threat around here. Rain changes as snow overnight, increasing winds as well, causing blowing snow. Overnight lows in the cross around 30 degrees. I'll talk about the wintry side of this and uh, additional information on the severe threat for this evening coming up in just a few minutes. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Bill. Back on the news side of things this evening, breaking tonight, in fact. La Crosse City officials are confirming Delta Airlines is suspended spending flights to MSP Airport from the La Crosse Airport beginning in early June. According to an official release, Delta's ongoing pilot shortage is forcing the company to make service cuts. The last Delta flight will be June 4th. La Crosse Regional Airport will continue to serve local travel needs through service to Chicago O'Hare International Airport and private aircraft operators. The Wisconsin Supreme Court race is the most expensive in U.S. history. While Janet Protasiewicz's campaign has raised $12 million more than Dan Kelly, Outside Kelly supporters are outpacing Protosawitz backers in ad spending during this home stretch. The Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce Issues Mobilization Council is being especially active, producing ads that paint the Milwaukee Circuit Judge Protosawitz as soft on crime. An ad about Protosawitz's handling of a 2019 rape case says the victim was left for dead after her attack and Protosawitz ignored her pleas in court. He raped a military veteran, left her for dead just two and a half years. Now, the victim identified herself as Emily to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel this week and says the ad is re-traumatizing and inaccurate. Emily told the outlet she was not left for dead after her attack and that Protosawitz did listen to her in court. In that case, the man was charged with second-degree sexual assault by use of force but pleaded no contest to third degree, which has a max of five years in prison with five years additional supervision. Emily told the court no one should be defined by the worst moment of their life and did not ask for the man to go to prison. Protosay was handed down two and a half years in prison with two and a half supervision. Emily told the outlet she was 100% satisfied with the sentence. Now, there are other court cases garnering more valid criticism of Protosawitz. I'll be detailing one in particular tonight at 10. Today is International Trans Day of Visibility, a day dedicated to celebrating trans people and a chance to raise awareness to discrimination. A move by Milwaukee officials aims to support the LGBTQ community. Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley signed a resolution opposing conversion therapy today. It codifies the city's stance against the practice. Conversion therapy is a discredited tactic that attempts to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. He says he wants to show support for the marginalized community and that hatred, discrimination, and acts of violence toward the LGBTQ community has no place in Milwaukee. Quite honestly, we need to do this across the state and across the country. Because when you think about the amount of, of, of hatred, the amount of discrimination, the amount of prejudice, and the acts of violence that we have seen directed towards our LGBTQ plus community, it has no home here. And it should have no home anywhere. 
Milwaukee is just one of dozens of Wisconsin communities making moves to oppose conversion therapy or outright ban it being practiced with people under the age of 18, and that includes lacrosse. Tomorrow marks the first day of Child Abuse Prevention Month. The Cooley Region Child Abuse Prevention Task Force spent some time today placing blue pinwheels at Myrick Park to help bring attention to the issue. Each pinwheel represents a child who has gotten help through La Crosse County Services or area resources over the past year. There are several organizations in the area that help children or support children, but also support um, families, which trickles down to the children. The task force is holding a family fun event on Saturday, April 15th at the park. That event is free and will have kid-friendly activities at the Myrick Park Shelter. Coffee Connections is back after more than a three-year-long hiatus. Community members joined folks from downtown Main Street at Jay's Cafe in La Crosse. All Coffee Connections will be open to the public. Terry Bauer of downtown Main Street says it's a great way to have a dialogue about downtown's growth. It just gives us a chance to interact with people in a, in a formal, informal way uh, that just applies additional direction for us and uh, how we can make things better for downtown. There's no set date for the next Coffee Connection, but you can learn more about downtown Main Street on our website. A new parking ramp fee structure begins on Monday. Instead of having the first hour free during daytime hours, those parking and ramps will pay $1 per hour for every hour. There is an $8 maximum. Now parking is still free during overnight hours and on weekends. Still ahead, an Arcadia High School student is determined to break barriers in the STEM field. We catch up with her at this weekend's robotics competition where she's leading her teammates and their massive robots on the playing field. Ashley's anniversary mattress sale is going on now. Celebrate decades of restful nights with incredible value on Ashley Sleep mattresses. And for a limited time, receive a free adjustable base upgrade with the purchase of an Ashley Sleep Align mattress set only at Ashley. Update your home with high-quality and unique sliding barn doors from Colonial Elegance. Pick up this pine barn door for $99.99 after rebate. Customize your dream window. Any size, any shape, made just for you with our Design and Buy program. Get a beautiful view with new windows from Geldwin. We have over 100 sizes and styles in stock. This Geldwin window is $79.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at the Honey, where are the kids? I put them in the furnace so I could figure out why we don't have any heat. You did what? Maybe it's that loose wire. Maybe it's that plug vent. Maybe it's the bad igniter. Maybe it's a dirty flame sensor. Or maybe, maybe. Why don't we just call Jandy Heat and Air Conditioning? Quality you can count on, experience you can trust. With over 50 years of combined experience, G&T services residential and commercial customers within 50 miles of West Salem. Meet a doctor who connects all the dots. Oftentimes, people with low back pain, knee pain, or hip pain don't even recognize that it's actually coming from their feet. Their feet? For real? Absolutely, 100%. It can have a domino effect because their foot and their ankle aren't supported properly. Their whole body is out of whack. Getting back into whack? Good feet arch supports could help. Keeping your body in good alignment, that can go a long way. Come in for your free fitting at the Good Feet Store. He brutally raped her, repeatedly. I spent endless nights plagued by nightmares. My bedroom door was barricaded, I was so afraid. But Judge Protozewitz ignored her pleas, let the rapist off easy, and now he's back on the streets. When you don't know where your attacker is, then he is everywhere. He is every sound in the night. Tell Judge Protozewitz, stop failing victims and stop protecting criminals. This year at Ashley's anniversary sale, we were able to secure a more affordable price on the same great quality as before, and we're passing those savings on to you. And bonus savings on outdoor furniture. Plus, we're offering five years special financing only at Ashley. Women's History Month celebrates the achievements and contributions women have made. And on the last day of Women's History Month, News 8 Now's Dua Israr introduces us to an Arcadia junior who's making sure women break through in a male-dominated field. All the preparation happens here, but all of the action happens there. 85-31, you're on three. The fans inside this arena aren't here for a sporting event. The players on the field are straight out of the Terminator. 
125 pound robots, and the kids are carrying them on and off of the field. 45, it's time for Seven Rivers Regional's annual robotics competition. They get the dimensions and they need to know the task it needs to complete and they get six weeks to build before they start competing against each other. 54 teams from all over the Midwest are competing to make it to the playoffs. Is it okay with you guys if I recap the plan? One contestant is here to prove a point. Okay, right in front of you, right in front of you on six. Brianna Ruiz is a junior at Arcadia High School and part of the Trumpelo County Robots. For a cube, go for a cube, go for a cube. Since freshman year, I was taking a lot of engineering classes through uh, Western Technical College. She's also an engineer extraordinaire. Actually, I was the first woman, not only woman, first person of color and first person in general from Trempolo County to get a CSWA certification. With four certifications under her belt, Ruiz is already breaking glass ceilings. I was able to achieve and get an internship at Ashley Automation Center. I am currently the only girl, unfortunately, but hopefully those numbers will change as more women go into the field. Achievements are worth celebrating, but Ruiz says they have an extra special meaning when they can also bring change. Being able to have that representation there, if you're like, oh, I'm Hispanic too, or I'm, I'm of color, oh, there's a woman here. Like, it's just so much support. Ruiz hopes her passion and determination inspires other girls to join STEM programs. We get held back a lot because we're told that it's not our field, when in reality, it's just like any other career and we should be as involved as anyone else. Reporting in La Crosse, the West Star, News 8 Now. Dua, thanks very much. Ruiz is done with her high school classes, but she can't graduate early, so she'll be taking classes at UW-Stout next year as a senior in high school. You can watch her and her team compete tomorrow as well. Great story indeed. After the break, a small town students are hitting a big city stage. GET's student a cappella group is heading to New York City to compete with schools across the country, but they do need your help. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Graw. Look at the uh, real estate that this severe weather threat uh, is impacting today across the country. And you see these high-risk areas, uh, part, parts of Arkansas and Tennessee, also parts of Iowa into Illinois. Already 22 reports of tornadoes, most so far in Arkansas and Iowa. There's a good reason. We've got uh, great meteorologists at the Storm Prediction Center. Now, how will it impact our area tonight? I'll have the answer with my 8-day forecast coming up next. Morning. Hardy's two for five dollar mix and match breakfast starts your day with made from scratch sausage and egg biscuits, biscuit and gravy, or sweet cinnamon roll. Pick any two, just five dollars. My rewards members get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At Buy Golf and Roadie, that's how we get results. It's the Power Up Recliner Sale at Drury's in Fountain. Recliners to soothe, relax, and let you escape from the stress of every day. Durability and style come together in an amazing selection of power sofas, sectionals, and recliners. And if it has power, there's even one-year special financing and free delivery. At Drury's, you'll find Lazy Boy, Southern Motion, Palliser, Stressless, and Flex Steel. All the best brands, all on sale. Plus one-year special financing and free delivery. It's the Power Up Sale now at Drury's in Fountain. There's a spot. It's not marked by an X, and it's not anywhere on a map. It comes from within, and it's defined by you. Where passion meets compassion. Where technology meets application. Where your path finds its way. Western Technical College, where your future is finally clear. There were severe health complications with my baby when I was pregnant. We made the decision to have an abortion so our daughter wouldn't suffer. Dan Kelly doesn't believe that women should even have that freedom. On the Supreme Court, Dan Kelly will uphold the criminal ban on abortion. Someone you love might struggle with a pregnancy like I did. And that's why we can't have an extremist like Dan Kelly on the Supreme Court. 
I've practiced personal injury law for four years. For 20 years. For 32 years. All I do every day is help injured people get the compensation that they deserve. At By Golf and Rody, that's how we get results. It's the Hardee's Star Deal Combo. Get a Hardee's Charbroiled Double Cheeseburger, crispy three-piece hand-breaded chicken tenders, or original hot ham and cheese with a small fry and drink for just $5.99. My Rewards members get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. Well, welcome back. Uh, busy afternoon and evening in the uh, weather department. Thanks to Mother Nature combining wintry conditions to the north and spring conditions to the south and where they meet. That's where trouble tends to happen. So we've still got that tornado watch for Winnesheek, Allamakee, Crawford, Richland counties until 8 p.m. But that threat is waning as these storms are kind of congealing into just a huge batch of showers and thunderstorms, uh, but still some heavy rainers, uh, some small hail, maybe some isolated larger hail, some gusty winds, and uh, again, some heavy downpours with these storms as well. If that's not enough, we've got the wintry side of this thing overnight. Look at the blizzard warnings from South Dakota across much of Minnesota uh, into western Wisconsin. And closer look shows our northern counties in that blizzard warning uh, for the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. It does include Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. And then a stripe of uh, counties in a winter storm warning uh, just north of La Crosse and then from Monroe, La Crosse, Houston and into uh, northeastern Iowa. We're looking at a winter weather advisory. Now here's why uh, rain change the snow overnight, lightest totals near and south and east of La Crosse. Again, uh, this is a tricky call. Whenever we have these rain changing over to snow events, uh, these snowfall totals can be uh, difficult to forecast, but notice how the amounts really climb quickly as you head to the north, especially to the north of Eau Claire, where they could be looking at nine inches plus from the Twin Cities up through, uh, say, Rusk County and into far northern parts of the state, increasing winds as well, so travel could become quite difficult overnight and into early Saturday. Cloudy skies, we've had some showers and thunderstorms scattered about 46 the high 53 is average uh, almost nine tenths of an inch of rain out at the La Crosse Airport and here's what I'm talking about the battle between the cold air to the north warm air to the south 76 in St. Louis 31 in Duluth 43 here in La Crosse in fact earlier Prairie du Chien was close to 60 degrees so almost uh, 25 degrees warmer than you folks up in Eau Claire so that was the battleground kind of right along this warm front and that's where most of the tornadic activity thankfully stayed south of that warm front, uh, but boy, uh, several tornadoes reported over southeastern Iowa, and as this low continues to lift across the area, uh, we'll continue to see these scattered showers and thunderstorms. But look at radar is just lit up with generally uh, non-severe showers and thunderstorms, lots of lightning in these storms as well. But again, there are some pockets of stronger storms, so don't be uh, surprised if you see some small hail, maybe even uh, uh, kind of moderate hail up to nickel size. But we'll continue to monitor these storms in case any of them uh, reach uh, quarter size hail. We did get a report of uh, quarter size hail near the Berry Mills area with that severe thunderstorm warning earlier for La Crosse County. But you can see, again, a lot of rain being produced by these storms and then that arc of uh, strong to severe storms moving out of Iowa into northwestern Illinois, maybe impacting far southern Wisconsin as well. Now, rain trackers showing some drier air starting to get pulled in, but still half an inch to an inch plus where those areas that you saw the uh, shower and thunderstorm activity. So keep an eye on water levels, especially the smaller creeks, streams and rivers across the region. Sky tracker showing those storms quickly lift through and then that change over to snow occurs around midnight or shortly thereafter. And look at the winds peel, uh, pinwheeling around this area of low pressure. It quickly moves out tomorrow morning, but it could be snowing at a pretty good clip uh, overnight. And that's why things could really add up quickly uh, over northern parts of the uh, Buin area. Otherwise, just some increase in clouds into Sunday, maybe some spits or sprinkles Sunday morning. So for tonight, that alert night with the showers and storms this evening, then that change over to snow and increasing winds over night. Lows in the cross around 30. Snow showers end early tomorrow, otherwise windy and cooler. A high of 42 and looking ahead right back in the 50s Sunday and Monday. Another pretty potent storm brings a chance of showers, maybe some thunderstorms on Tuesday and into Tuesday night and then maybe some snow showers mixing in on Wednesday. Another uh, big wind producer uh, midweek as well. But uh, boy, active, active pattern and this storm system unfortunately is causing some uh, tornadic issues to our south and mm -hmm. east uh, as we speak. All right, Bill, keeping us all informed. Yeah. Thanks very much. Okay. Well, in other news this evening, a small town high school group is getting the chance to compete in the biggest city in the U.S. and they're asking for help getting to that stage. Oh, 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 
GET High School's Vocal Point a cappella group is getting ready to head to a national competition in New York City. Vocal Point took first place at the ICHSA Great Lakes Semis, and they'll be going head to head with other leading high school groups from across the country. The group's director says small town tenacity is helping them get to the top spots. We just don't settle. We always are wanting to, to be better and do better um, all of the time. And um, it's, it's really cool um, to say that a small town kind of group like this can, can compete against um, some very big schools. One student says it would be a big win to place in the top three, but the trip itself is a celebration of their hard work. But other than that, just a chill experience to bond with the group and recognize our accomplishments would be a really ideal trip. Now the group needs help funding the trip. Their director estimates the cost at $15,000 to get the students to New York. They're taking donations both online and by check sent to the school. We'll post donation information on news8000.com. And coming up next in sports, it's a catch you won't want to miss. Find out who is winning our play of the week. And the college basketball awards being handed out. And the Marquette Golden Eagles are taking home some hardware. Cade's in next with sports. Visit the Early Bird Home Show, going on now at the Ford Store Home Improvements. Lowest prices of the year on your 2023 project. Windows, bathrooms, and more. I'm going for Judge Janet Protest. Janet Protest. Protestowitz? <laughs> you don't need to know how to say Protestowitz to know that Judge Janet believes in abortion rights, fairness, and public safety. Protestowitz. <laughs> Life's more rewarding at Blaine's Farm and Fleet, especially during our outdoor sale. Right now, get unbeatable deals on our quality selection of spring supplies for outdoor projects, like $50 instant savings on this Craftsman trimmer and blower kit, up to $20 off Scott's Turf Builder Crabgrass Preventer or Weed and Feed after sale and mail-in rebate. Large bags of Blaine's Golden Harvest Bird Food, just $14.99. And Blaine's Rewards members get $100 off these men's cat boots. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. There are so many things we take for granted. So many things. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for their survival for granted too. The elderly, disabled, the veterans, people on limited and fixed incomes or folks that lost jobs in sectors hardest hit during the pandemic how can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living some people just can't come back and through no fault of their own they're being left behind struggling to keep their heat water and power on if you or someone you know needs a hand up our heat Water and power providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Extremist Dan Kelly wants abortion banned, even in cases of rape and the health of the mother. Kelly will uphold Wisconsin's 1849 abortion ban that strips women of their freedom to make personal decisions on abortion. Covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports with Cade Overton. Well, the spring sports season is off to a wet start. A lot of high school baseball and softball games scheduled for today have been postponed, including opening day down at Copeland Park. Lacrosse Central was supposed to take on West Salem for both teams' first game of the year. But this one, like many others across the area, are going to have to wait. A bunch of games scheduled for tomorrow as well, but keep your eye on the weather as it's looking a little grim. Central set to have their new season opener at Copeland Park on Monday. It's award season for college basketball, and Marquette's head coach, Shaka Smart, is bringing home some hardware. Smart was named AP Coach of the Year for men's basketball, and it's very deserved. Going into the season, Marquette was picked to finish ninth out of 11 teams in the preseason coaches poll. But instead, the Golden Eagles had the best regular season the team has ever had. They won the regular season title, then beat Xavier to win their first Big East Tournament Championship. And the Madison, Wisconsin native is just the second Marquette coach to win Coach of the Year. But you'd have to go back to 1971 when the legendary Al McGuire won it as a part of his Hall of Fame career. And speaking of coaches, Wisconsin men's hockey team has a new man in charge, and it's a good one. Mike Hastings is leaving Minnesota State Mankato to coach the Badgers. Hastings was in Mankato for 11 years, leading his squad to the NCAA tournament eight times. But Hastings said he is thrilled to start a new journey with the Badgers. 
Your play of the week brought to you by Gunderson Health System, helping you love how healthy feels. And with high school spring sports just getting started, we're going up to the MLB for our play of the week. Former Brewer, now Angel Hunter Renfro out in right field. And are you kidding me? He gets turned around, but such great awareness is able to make the no look catch. So impressive that the most impressive man in baseball is shocked. Look at Otani. He can't believe it on opening day two. Yeah, that's going to earn him our play of the week. But don't worry, we'll get back to the high school level next week. We'll be right back. During Markdown Madness at Dahl Auto, choose from over 700 vehicles at six Dahl dealerships. Then make no payments until June. Plus, sell or trade your old car to get an extra 500 over book value. This month only at Dahl Auto. Come to Slumberland and get 20% off our beautiful new furniture and decor during our spring spruce up event. We've got fresh new looks, like sleek new upholstery for your living area, plus extra discounts on recliners, patio, Sealy mattresses, and sectionals, including our new super versatile modular sectional. Get an extra 20% off Slumberland low prices during our spring spruce up event right now at Slumberland Furniture. And check out our easy new mattress rating system to get you in your perfect bed. Nicolay, baby. I'll testify my commitment to the truth. Companies tremble while I'm spitting in the booth. I'm a lawyer rapper, keep the fit. Reppin' Nicolay Law, cause where the Daddy, what are you doing? I'm making a rap video. Okay, good job, good job. All right. Boom! <laughs> person is known by the company they keep. Who were Judge Janet Protosawitz's friends? Predatory abortion profiteers. The type of savages that support late-term abortions that cause excruciating pain and stop a beating heart. And they want you, the taxpayer, to foot the bill. Janet Protosawitz and her bloodthirsty comrades don't care about Wisconsin's values. They care about making money, killing babies. Vote Dan Kelly on April 4th. Selling your car yourself can take weeks. Selling to an online reseller takes days. Selling your car to Doll Auto takes 30 minutes. And you'll get an extra $500 over book value. Doll Auto. Simple. Well, as Cade mentioned, a lot of outdoor activities not happening because it is a wet and stormy evening. Look at this radar. I'm not even going to zoom in anywhere because everyone's seeing scattered showers and thunderstorms. Or if you're not, you're going to before uh, too long here. And then it turns to winter overnight. In fact, several inches of snow, especially in those winter storm warned and blizzard warned areas to the north and west of La Crosse. So watch those roads overnight and into tomorrow morning. Lows in La Crosse around 30 degrees, 42 tomorrow. All right, Bill, thanks very much. Okay. And thanks for joining us tonight at 6. We'll see you at 10, everybody.